Green should be easy to find in nature, right? Well, I've struggled a bit, to be honest with you. Hi, I'm Margaret Bird, and welcome to Color Quest. Today, as we search for the rainbow, we are making a stop at green. And green, we are going to try to extract from spinach. And I've got a couple of tricks to help coax out the green to make a really subtle but pretty green dye. And if you're new here and you've missed the previous videos, you can find how to make the earliest colors by heading to my channel under cooking color. You will see a series. And so far, hibiscus, yellow onion, and citrus peels have given us the first three colors of the rainbow. So today, green. I hope that you've subscribed and know that on every Friday there will be a new video as we continue our quest for color.
So the trick there really is the wilting process of the spinach. I gave it a few days to start a breakdown process and I think that that actually helped with being able to extract a green for the dye. It is a very quiet green, much like the citrus peel was a quiet yellow. But as I mentioned, green is, is a harder one to find. I will be exploring green in future videos, particularly around the herbs, which will be a series that I film at some point in the future. So be sure to stick around and keep an eye out for that. So what's in store for next time? We're going to be checking out a new kind of process, and that is what I like to call a cold brew. And we'll be doing it with black beans. I've actually had quite some success in being able to find some really pretty blues, grays, and actually I've even gotten green from black bean. So join me here next Friday at Color Quest so that we can continue on our path down the rainbow to blue. If you know someone that's interested in anything to do with natural color, I would really appreciate if you'd let them know about this channel. The more we have here, the more we spread the love about the beautiful world of natural color.